Okay, here is one more application. This one is an application of logarithmic equations. It is the Richter scale, which is what they use to determine the strength of an earthquake. Um, and it gives a description here for you of how they came up with that <laughs> number. Of the actual formula, the magnitude of an earthquake is equal to the log of x over 0 0.001, where x is the seismic reading um, that they have gathered for that earthquake. So this is how we usually hear the strength of an earthquake. They don't usually tell you the seismic reading. They tell you the magnitude of 8.5 or 2.4 or 3.6. And this is the formula that they use to find that. Okay. The magnitude is the log of x over 0 0.001. Again, x is the seismograph reading for that earthquake. So here's an example for you. What is the magnitude of an earthquake with a seismograph reading of 90,000? So we just plug that number into our formula. We're finding m of 90,000, which would be the log of 90,000, one more zero, divided by 0 0.001. Again, order of operations is very important. You need to do 90,000 divided by 0 0.001 first, which gives you 90 million. Then you do the log. So you're doing the log of 90 million. This would have a magnitude of approximately 7.95. We usually just go to two decimal places, so we're going to round that to 8. Okay? So this would be approximately a magnitude 8 earthquake if it had a seismograph reading of 90,000. Okay, right, here is a question phrased a bit differently and with um, something different given. Again, we have the same explanation of what the Richter scale indicates. It is the same formula no matter what. Okay, our formula is the magnitude is the log of x of the seismograph reading divided by 0 0.001. This question, however, asks how many times stronger is an earthquake that registers 7.5 on the Richter scale compared to an earthquake that registers 6.2. Okay, so what are we trying to find? It's important that we understand that. This time we're given the magnitude and we are asked to find out what the seismograph reading was and to see how many times larger one was than the other. We can't compare them as their magnitudes. We have to compare them according to their seismograph readings. So what we're going to do is take each of these and let's say 7.5. Its magnitude was 7.5. So the 7.5 goes over there on the left where the M of X is. That's the magnitude. We do not know the seismograph reading, so we leave the X in there. We need to solve this equation for X. Now with logarithmic equations, recall that the way we solved them was to isolate the log, which we have and then rewrite the problem in exponential form. Now this is just log. Remember that if you just have log, it's automatically base 10. And to rewrite this in exponential form, this was base 10 to the 7.5 power. So 10 to the 7.5 power is equal to x over 0 0.001. That is rewritten in exponential form. And from here, we're now going to solve for x. Well, what would we have to do to solve for x? We just have to multiply both sides by 0 0.001, and we're done. I should have done that in a different color. So all I have to do is take out my calculator, find 10 to the 7.5 power, and multiply it by 0 0.001. I can't just leave it as 0 0.001 times 10 to the 7.5. Remember exponential first, so 10 to the 7.5 first, and then times 0 0.001.
you should get about 31,622. Actually, 623. Okay, now let's go and do the same thing for our magnitude 6.2. So it came out on the Richter scales of 6.2. We need to figure out what its measure was on the seismograph so that we can compare the two values. Again, what we do here is we rewrite this in exponential form. This is log base 10 if it's not given. So we have base 10 to the 6.2 power is equal to x over 0 0.001. We just rewrote that in exponential form. Now we're going to solve this equation for x. So if I multiply both sides by 0 0.001, that will clear my denominator, and I will have solved for x. All I have to do is calculate that. So do 10 to the 6.2 power. And then multiply by 0 0.001. And we have about 1,584.9. I'm going to go ahead and round that to 1,585. Now the question asked how many times larger was the 7.5. So we're going to divide the two. We're going to take 31,623 divided by the 1,585 to find out how many times larger a 7.5 is compared to 6.2. I don't think we realize what the Richter scale does. It kind of distorts the numbers so we don't see how many times. And it's about 20 times. You should get about 19.95. So it's 20 times more powerful for a 7.5 than it is for a 6.2.